We got a toy knife. Ooh. It's not a real knife. You know, it's still probably like a little plastic knife, but I'm sure it will help us in fighting the monsters. Oh dear. That took longer than I thought it would. How do you get him, my child? Are you hurt? There, there. I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. <laughs> well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. Okay. Um, I'll save later. I'll determination myself later. You smell that? Surprise! It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. You know, I personally don't like butterscotch. It's too... too chewy. I guess the flavor's okay. It's not really sweet, though. And... but, but I do like cinnamon. You know, it gives a nice little pep to a little sweetness. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I will hold off on sm snail pie for tonight. Okay, so funny thing, if you select hard mode, which I don't know if you can select, but maybe it's like one of those like Konami code kind of things, like if you push some buttons on the start screen then you get to it or something. I'm afraid that hard mode, however, will not be fleshed out. It's just this first chapter, and she gives you a snail pie, and that's basically it. Oh, and also, so the enemies in, the monsters in this chapter in the game have harder variations later on. In hard mode, you fight those harder variations, so <laughs> it's quite the challenge. Here, I have another surprise for you. But again, it's it's short-lived. It's just one chapter. This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Oh, she's rubbing my head. I'm like a little pet, huh? Is something burning? Um, make yourself at home. Eh, I might as well just take a nap. Oh, we have a nice little remix. We got pie. I think the pie is a full heal, like 100%, so it's important to keep that around if you're at a, in a real pickle. Kinda wish I was more careful and had avoided getting hit and not not eating like the, the monster candy, but what are you gonna do? <sighs> yes, nice, a lot of homey stuff. I can't eat anymore. Can't pick up anymore. That's too bad. Oh. Oh, this is actually some lore. I'm gonna kind of skip through that. Up already, I see. Oh, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There's so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't all very surprising. Still, I am glad to have you living here. Yes, yes. Uh, to... et to... Toriel. Oh, do you want something? What is it? Why can I go home? What? This... This is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I'm reading? It is called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? No, I, I just want to exit the ruins. I want to go on an adventure. I want to have some fun. I want to, you know, test my wits and all that. Um, how about an exciting snail fact? Did you know that snails sometimes flip their digestive systems as they mature? I actually don't remember her saying that. I mean, maybe she just says that anyways and I didn't pay attention. Hmm. I have to do something. Stay here. Alright.
Now it's saving time. Ah. So I'm gonna train up, you know. I feel like the end of the chapter is coming up. there's like enemies to fight like no there's, there's gotta be someone what okay I know what's going on but uh, yeah there's only a set number of enemies and monsters you can fight and after that all you have is determination Now I'm determined to go to the basement. Usually when you go down here, Toriel stops you. Also, um, so that that sound that goes on is actually like, like way slower version of Flowey's theme, at least the first like chord or whatever of it. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the un rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. Like no one will ever, no one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Oh, she's not gonna stop. I'm, I mean, I'm not gonna stop. Like I, I mean, I. She's not gonna go through with it. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come. They leave. They die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, then Hasgore will kill you. I am only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. Sorry, you gotta do it. You want to leave so badly? <laughs> or just like the others? The others? Yeah, there were like six others, I think. And they all died throughout the journey. There is only one solution to this. I think one died in the ruins. I, I, the theory is that they all die in the places where you get um, items, like the, the equipable items, like the ribbon and the toy knife. Uh, I think there's like, yeah, something there's like four more, perhaps? I don't know. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Here is the first boss in the game. Now... Let, let's talk this through. Huh? Not worth talking to, yeah, because... So, the thing about Toriel is that she will not usually, unless you, like, deliberately jump into some one of her attacks, if you're, like, two health, then she's not going to attack you. She looks through you. Pretty good fight. You know, you saw, like, there was some fire going around. I, I mean, honestly... You know, the thing is, is that... When you have this much determination, boss monsters have no chance. You, you really hate me that much? Now I see who I was protecting by keeping you here. 
at you. But them. Um... <laughs> well, that's how it is.